You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here. Great show today. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. My opening thought. Creativity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overhauls and looks like work. The creative spirit offers dramatic examples of how you can put creativity to work in whatever you do. During periods of great change, answers don't last very long. But a question is worth a lot. A creative life is a continued quest, and good questions are useful guides. The most useful questions are open-ended. They allow a fresh, unanticipated answer to reveal itself. These are the kinds of questions children aren't afraid to ask. They seem naive at first, but think how different our lives would be if certain questions were never asked. Questions of wonder, I call them. Albert Einstein, what would a light wave look like to someone keeping pace with it? Bill Bowerman, inventor of Nike shoes, what happens if I pour rubber into my waffle iron? Fred Smith, founder of Federal Express. Why can't there be reliable overnight mail service? Godfrey Hounsfield, inventor of the CAT scanner. Why can't we see in three dimensions what is inside a human body? without cutting it open. Here's an example of an exercise you can do to develop your ability to ask questions. They can produce radically new and unexpected ideas. Each day for a week, take a few minutes to ask yourself a question that begins I wonder, ask this question about a particular area of your life, such as the workplace. I wonder what would happen if we divided the corporation into 12 smaller companies. It is essential not to censor yourself no matter how impractical or outlandish the question sounds. After you've had some practice doing this, try going public with your questions by posing them to friends or colleagues. Listen carefully to their responses. As in the story of the emperor's new clothes, you'll probably discover that your question reveals blind spots and assumptions that deserve to be challenged. When St. Petersburg, Russia, one of the most splendid and harmonious cities in Europe, was being laid out in the early 18th century, Many large boulders brought by a glacier from Finland had to be removed. One particularly large rock was in the path of one of the principal avenues that had been planned. And bids were solicited for its removal. These bids submitted were very high. This was understandable because at that time, 
Modern equipment did not exist, and there were no high-powered explosives. As officials pondered what to do, a peasant presented himself and offered to get rid of the boulder for a much lower price than those submitted by other bidders. Since they had nothing to lose, officials gave the job to the peasant. The next morning, he showed up with a crowd of other peasants, all carrying shovels. They began digging a huge hole next to the rock. The rock was propped up with timbers to prevent it from rolling into the hole. When the hole was deep enough, the timber props were removed and the rock dropped into the hole below the street level. It was then covered with dirt and the excess dirt was carted away. Oh, it's an early example of what creative thinking can do to solve a problem. The unsuccessful bidders only thought about moving the rock from one place to another on the city's surface. The peasant looked at the problem from another angle. He considered another dimension up and down. He couldn't lift it up, so he put it underground. My final thought, a problem is a chance for you to do your best. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the Font.